a couple of other significant areas which we want to discuss in great detail are the, this explosion of artificial hair, these chemical imitations of hair which are being weaved into the, um, the scalps of many of the women in society. It's become very popular here, but it's very dangerous because, again, these two are very much chemically based. These chemicals, of course, when they become hot, are able to penetrate the scalp and then the bloodstream and be circulated throughout the body as well. Another area, for example, about the high heel shoes. And women know when, when you start talking about it, they have to laugh themselves because after a day of walking around in those high heel shoes, they can't wait to get home and get out of them because they place an unnatural pressure on their back. There was a man by the name of Chanel. I think we've heard of Chanel perfume and fashions. I, and I'm pretty sure this is who it was. Chanel saw the way that a cat walked. When the cat was in heat, he would raise, she would raise up her rear end and she would call her attention to the, young, the other male cat. She'd go, the, you know. So he said, hey, that's sexy and it's alluring. So let me put the spirit of an animal on a woman and see how well it works. The high heel throws the back out of alignment. We don't need to put on a shoe that's going to send the wrong signals from the brain to other parts of the body. It's important that if we're going to obtain our maximum regenerated health, that we are going to have to remove all of these things which contribute to negatively to our health. Hopefully, Ghanaians have seen the wisdom in adopting these simple but effective lifestyle activities. It has worked for our brothers and sisters in Dimona. It can work for us. It all begins with a consciousness. A consciousness that one wants to be healthy and again an, uh, a consciousness that not everything that we have been taught to do is healthy for us uh, so when you when you approach uh, the din the breakfast table there has to be a consciousness about what is this actually providing for me and we teach those basic ideas of what the what the idea what the body basically needs in terms of uh, carbohydrates and proteins and and, uh, and energy uh, fruit, we're saying that fruit, the, and you're blessed in Ghana with the abundance of fruit in the, uh, in the country that uh, will give you everything you need and it doesn't weigh you down in the morning uh, when, you, when you're on your way to work. Again, if, there's, uh, if, if you can walk, in fact in some places in, in Accra, you could walk and beat the tro-tro. So it would be a good way in which to get in that, that, that exercise uh, and, and, and get back to a consciousness of the, the, of the body needing to move, of needing air, of needing sunlight. So a consciousness, a mindset, a new way of thinking would, would govern everything that we do during the course of the day. It would govern what we eat, it would govern what we wear, it would govern how we think, how we teach our children, how we relate to one another. And again, that brings us all back to lifestyle. If you look at it carefully, we can save a lot of money. And my aim to support the president is that I can also produce wealth. Don't forget also that you're talking about human capital. Everything that happens is happening through the minds of human beings. This is why in some countries, even though they don't have raw materials like we have natural you know, uh, resources, they can produce wealth just using their brain. And the development of the brain also is a health matter. It's an issue for health. Because in the first two years of every baby, the type of food you eat is what really develops your mind, and your brain, and what you eat in future. So if you want an intelligent, healthy, strong, and active human capital that can create wealth, it's health. As the old adage goes, heaven helps those who help themselves. Long life does not come by chance. It is a decision to be made and the choice is yours. Let us not forget, water is medicine. Food is medicine. Exercise is medicine. And rest is medicine.